Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another video for everyone. In this video here, I'll be reviewing this new scan tool sent out by Xtool. This is their D7W model. It's a bi-directional scanner equipped with an OBD2 Wi-Fi attachment instead of using a cable. A link to this scanner will be included in the video description. It comes in a blow mold hard plastic case, rotational pivots at the rear with metal latches at the front. This keeps everything neatly packed in one package while making sure your scanner is fully protected when not in use. Opening up the case, you can see everything is protected by foam padding. All the components have a place inside the case. First is removing the scan tool. It's on the left side of the case. My first impression is that it's quite heavier, heavier than other models I've tested over the years. The scan tool also features grips at the side. It's quite comfortable to hold on to. On the rear, we have a stand that pulls out to maximize your comfort when using the scanner. You can also see a camera at the rear. At the top is a USB port, power port, and power button. Next we have the instructions. Here's the OBD2 Wi-Fi plug-in connection. This replaces the typical cable that you will see on other scan tools. This Wi-Fi feature is able to work up to 66 feet away. And finally is the power cable with various plug attachments for different countries depending on where you're located. Now it's turning on the scan tool. To do this we do have to press and hold the power button at the top right. You will see the screen illuminate with the Xtool logo. It uses the Android 10.0 operating system, has 2 and 64 gigabytes of storage, is bi-directional to activate and deactivate certain components in your vehicle for troubleshooting, can do ECU coding, and has an endoscope attachment which is not included in this kit but can be purchased extra. Once on, your first step requires some basic startup. This includes language, connecting to Wi-Fi, and then creating or signing into an existing account. After that, you are most likely required to update the scan tool. This includes free software for three years. It should prompt an update message to start, and then you can go into options further to update additional settings. I'll be showing this further on in the video. Going into special functions, there is the bi-directional setting where you can modify different options or enable or disable components to help with troubleshooting. Next is reports. This will show you previous diagnostic reports, playback data from previous scans, and also view live data. Clicking on the update icon, here we can update various parts of the scanner. This can include diagnostics and coding for specific manufacturers. As you can see, there's quite a bit of areas that will need updating, and this does take a couple hours. Closing the scan tool program, this is a fully capable tablet that has other features you can use, so this is more than just a scan tool. Settings is fairly self-explanatory. Here you can adjust the language setting, unit measurements, USB setting for data transfer and expansion, sound and display, and finally an about section. The Xtool heading will take us straight into their website. The more heading will take us to another section where you can view our profile, VCI management, endoscope function, if you have that add-on, and a digital user manual. Now is testing this on the vehicle. For this I'm using a 2015 Mazda CX-9. First is locating the OBD2 port which is typically within 3 feet of the steering wheel. This model of Xtool features a wireless diagnostic port connection that works over Wi-Fi. As mentioned earlier, this can work up to 66 feet away from the vehicle. There are some lights on the side of the port connection to show everything is functioning as it should. Now turn the scanner on. This will automatically connect. The wireless connector pulls the power from the OBD2 port to operate. It does not have a battery power source. Turn the ignition in the on position. Select auto scan. If you haven't already, the VCI, which is the wireless connector, it will update automatically. The scan will continue and this will automatically determine your vehicle's VIN, make, model, and some other equipment. Next is selecting if your vehicle has blind spot monitoring. Does the vehicle have advanced keyless entry? and then if the vehicle is equipped with tire pressure monitoring. Once done, we can scroll up and down on the screen to view the different areas for potential faults. Clicking on the drop-down menu for one of the faults, we can see the listed issues. This vehicle currently has winter tires installed with no tire pressure monitoring sensors, so you can see there is faults here. Next under audio controls, this too has a fault. 
Each of these areas can be clicked on for more information. This includes the information of specific modules, reading codes, and then clearing codes. Reading the code does provide more information on the fault. This can be clicked on again, which will take you to an internet browser to view more information to help with troubleshooting. At this moment, I'm not connected to the internet. Going back, this prompts more options, which includes system selection, whole vehicle dynamic detection, service, trouble code description, and vehicle information. System selection, similar to automatic scan, but instead you can see individual systems and then have additional options for testing. Select the powertrain module. Actuation test. Now as a quick test using the AC system as an example. As you can see, I'm able to cycle the AC compressor on and off and I'm able to hear this when the engine is running. This is a great way to test to see if the AC compressor electrical circuit and the clutches function correctly. As a second example, using engine RPM. Here you can use various RPM presets. With the engine running and selecting one of these, I'm able to adjust the RPM and hold that value for diagnostics. Exiting this option will have the engine RPM go back to normal. Going back, we can see live data. This can be done with the engine running or not, depending on what you're testing. This can be customized to see only selected areas as a live value or in a graph form. Whole vehicle dynamic detection allows for a test on all functions of the vehicle to determine what is and isn't working correctly. Now it's clicking on service. This prompt allows for various relearning options for modules and they can be selected individually. Now a special function. Here we can see various bi-directional and testing options. This includes anything from key programming, tire pressure monitoring, battery reset, stop start, headlight adjustments, etc. This option will depend on if your vehicle is equipped with these options. Clicking on headlights as an example, here we need to select the vehicle model. Origin of vehicle, then click on Mazda. Select automatic or manual detection. Again, go through the same prompts as before. As you can see, this is not a supported system on this vehicle. This does have a slight learning curve for those new to diagnostic tools like this. However, there is plenty of support online and taking your time to read up on all the functions and options is a huge help. This is a great addition to those who are professionals in the field or for someone working on newer cars at home, either for themselves or on the side. Getting someone to run diagnostics with such a scan tool can be costly so owning this can be a huge asset and money saver. The Wi-Fi connection is a huge benefit. Not having extra wires to drag around and being able to diagnose a fault anywhere around a vehicle is extremely convenient. Overall, I would highly recommend this scan tool. Have you purchased this product in the past? Please be sure to share your experiences in the comments below. New videos released every week on my channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It's a huge help to me. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to also hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.